good, everybody? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Dima, white folks music! I'm gonna be honest, white men have the advantage over black men all over the world, even in Africa. Now, again, I understand it depends on the lady, and of course, black men still do their thing. But white men kind of understand when they show up, a lot of women will deal with them. They ain't gotta be that cute. They ain't gotta be that rich. They just know they gotta be white. And sometimes that gives them a false confidence believing that they're gonna just get away with everything. And that is kind of the trick that some ladies pull on these white guys. Rewind! Let's talk about this lady by the name of Darcy Adana Asimono. You might have seen her on one of these Pop the Balloon shows out in Phoenix. My name's Adana. Um, I popped it because you seem very tired, you seem like an extra in Friday, like like Big Smokey and like. There she is telling her brother that she's popping the balloon on him. You know, he looks tired, he looks like this and all of that. And again, it's always broke chicks who wanna pop the balloon on somebody who got something going on, which we're about to find out that she does not. She lives in the Phoenix area and you know, she's uh, kind of a divester. She professionally booty claps it up for white men. Now, this is how she met former Cy Young Dodgers pitcher, Trevor Bauer, who stopped the show, is allegedly known for having allegations of cheat taking. Booty clapping sounds. Now, these are allegations. Um, they have not been uh, proven, but this man has lost his career in other cases due to these heinous allegations about his personal life. Again, he's never been convicted of it, but it is out there about him. So basically this lady uh, meets Trevor Bauer in 2020. He does something stupid. He booty claps it up with her. Booty claps him. And then all hell breaks loose. She basically sued this guy for a lot of money or was trying to get a lot of money out of her. She basically say that he graped and got her pregnant. Well, let me go ahead and play the clips and you can kind of hear it. My name's Adana. Um, I popped it because you seem very tired, like an extra in Friday, like, like Big Smokey. A woman who accused former Dodger Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has now been indicted. A woman who accused former Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer of sexual assault has been charged with fraud in Arizona. A grand jury indictment unsealed Monday accuses Darcy Adana Esmonu of fraud and theft by extortion against Bauer and another man. Esmonu sued Bauer, saying he f***ed her and got her pregnant in 2020. Bauer says she demanded money to terminate the pregnancy, but later said she had a miscarriage. Bauer posted a five-minute video on YouTube responding to the indictment and addressing allegations at large for the first time in months. Here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. When I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In the countersuit, Bauer's lawyers claim she took the money for the abortion and went to Philadelphia to get LASIK eye surgery. There are women that will try and ensnare you and extort you for money, and if they uh, come out with these claims and they smear your reputation, they can destroy your career. We tried reaching out to Asmonu and her legal team, but were unsuccessful. Her next court date is next week, and she could face more than 16 years if convicted on both charges. Darcy Adana Asmonu has been criminally indicted for committing felony fraud against me and another man. So now she's facing up to 16 years in prison. We had one plain sexual encounter in December of 2020, nothing that could be considered remotely rough. Uh, she initiated it, but don't take my word for it, take hers. This is a picture and text message she sent me the next morning explaining why she came on to me. And for months afterwards, she repeatedly requested to sleep with me again. Uh, for example, this text from January 7th, 2021. At one point, she even requested a sample of my sperm so she could have my child whenever she wanted to in the future. Now, it's hard to keep track, but she's made at least four seven-figure demands over the last few years. Uh, more than a year after the one time we slept together, Adana retained a lawyer. Uh, she then demanded $3.6 million and claimed I forced her to have an abortion, leaving her emotionally devastated and irretrievably damaged by it. But uh, here's the thing, she never had an abortion because she was never even pregnant, and that's corroborated by her own medical records. 
When I refused to pay her the $3.6 million she was asking for, she made up a bogus sexual assault claim and filed a civil suit against me. In that version of her story, she claimed, for the first time, by the way, uh, that there was non-consensual sex. But her texts from the next morning show what actually happened. Remember this text in which she explains why she came onto me? Uh, she also claims that instead of an abortion, she, she actually had a miscarriage, but that's impossible, of course, because, again, she was never even pregnant. Uh, we now have emails between her and the first two law firms that dropped her, in which they acknowledge they never had any evidence to support her claims, but they'll try to get my money anyway. I then shared an audio recording I have in which Adana contradicts her own claims and asks me for money. In the emails, her lawyers agreed that that's insurmountable evidence, and they inform Adana that they can no longer represent her unless she can provide documentation or proof of her claims. And of course, she couldn't do that, so the law firm urged her to consult other law firms with different standards. Now, Adana has filed more than 10 police reports claiming sexual assault or harassment against other men, including at least one other professional athlete. But after the Scottsdale police completed their investigation into her claim against me, she's the one being indicted for felony fraud. And not just against me, against another man as well. Uh, she made up bogus sexual assault claims and attempted to extort him too. And it gets worse. In my lawsuit against her, we subpoenaed a witness whom she knew for relevant documents to use in our case. And when she found out, she immediately made sexual assault claims against him too. Uh, her MO is clear. Lie to men to get their money, extort them if she must, and when they refuse to pay, stop paying or stop giving her what she wants, go to the police, accuse them of sexual assault, and file a civil suit against them to retaliate. I think she would be somebody that probably could be my A, 1A, if I were to run my business and include her in it. And, um, um what, what, what's partner. the cut? If be my partner. A partner. Now, Simono is now in jail, all right? And he said that all these things were consensual. Not only was she doing this to him, but other men, I'm assuming, that were white. Now, he said he eventually paid her thousands of dollars, which she used to go to Philadelphia and basically get LASIK surgery. Demanded more than $1 million to terminate the pregnancy when she wasn't even pregnant. And the reason why I'm saying this is because if this is happening to white guys, and again, Trevor Barr is a former baseball player. Um, he's still playing in some leagues, but not in the MLB. But let's be honest, he's not the guy out there wearing bling, probably trying to shine. He's probably walking around as a regular white guy. And if you guys don't watch baseball, you don't know him. But what about some of you brothers out there who, you know, you have nice cars, you have nice homes, you know, you have a great career, all of these things, right? You're, you're doing very well. And what you're not gonna understand is, is that chicks are gonna come after you. Some of them are gonna be cool or some of them not gonna be cool, all right? And then this is what you're gonna get. Basically, as you see in the messages, the lady was like, oh, it's good. I wanna come back and let you booty clap it up again. Booty clap it sounds. Then you, you, you clap cheeks with that lady. You be out there doing whatever you want to do. And now the lady is coming out there saying that, you know what? You did this to me. This is why you can't just start clapping cheeks when you have money with people you just meet. You know, not one, no, no one night stands, nothing. Whenever I meet somebody for the first time, number one, stop the show. I told you, Negroes, stop bringing them to your house. I've already told you guys, you guys don't listen. Don't ever do that, okay? You bring them to your house, okay? And now they get to look around. They're gonna take off their sandals and start looking at what you got. You're gonna start booty clapping it up, all right? Don't let them come over there. Make them prove themselves to you before you do anything. They don't deserve to be there. You the one that got what you have. You don't know what she has because if she has it, and if you ever deal with women, they have it, they make you prove yourself. Make them prove yourself. Take, take them somewhere publicly, see what the vibe is, if it is, let them know you can come back out again, somewhere again, public, all right? And make them work for you to clap their cheeks. Your sexual organs are just as good as theirs, okay? They're just as valuable as theirs. There's no reason why you who has money needs to be chasing some cheeks that's struggling. Guys with money and struggle cheeks, we got to be honest here. It's not a fair trade, okay? You shouldn't have to be out here suffering just to booty clap. Go to OnlyFans. It's cheaper. You don't get no diseases and you can line yourself up, okay? You can clap yourself. You can clap your own cheeks, literally. So then you gotta worry about all this stuff and all these dehumanizing allegations. But now look at her. She about to go to jail for 16 years. And I'm gonna tell you why. Because she's been doing this to white men. And see, that's the thing. A lot of black guys 
she can continue to do this and it wouldn't happen. But since she's messing with white zaddy, oh, her ass is gonna go to jail for lying for 16 years. She gonna get some L's, right? But that's probably not gonna happen with you. So you gotta protect yourself, okay? Cause some brothers might not wanna go to the police and all that. I ain't gonna be no doing no snitching out here in these streets. I ain't gonna snitch. I'll be snitching like, I don't know what, I'll be telling everything. Yeah, she did it, it was her. I'll be on the, I'll be on the court bench pointing. So guys, you have to really protect yourself from some of these clappers out here. Don't end up, you know, almost like him, but I'm glad he got revenge on her for trying to basically lie. So guys, what do you think it's your boy Oshie Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of the Celebrity Junker. Put your follow you do, scrub the bell, we're out.